Pierre Polyev builds himself a man of the people. There's a comfortable establishment that sits on top and governs for itself. Who's taking on the powerful. We have a government of elites and self-serving um, snobs who look down on ordinary working class Canadians. Standing up for the working class. Why does the prime minister always take from the have-nots to give to the have-yachts? <laughs> With a penchant for speaking like a popular rebellion leader from 14th century England. To bring the mighty low and make the commoners the masters over the crown. Polyev is tapping into anger at inequality and the soaring cost of living. Shouldn't our working class be better off today than it was 40 years ago? This system is broken. It protects the privilege. While pointing his finger at the ruling class that is responsible. The elites in Ottawa are just beside themselves. Max of the Davos elite at its worst. We don't need elites. Elite, elites, elites. There's just one hitch. Pierre Polyev has spent his entire political career serving the very elites he vilifies. So what explains his approach? It's called fake populism. When politicians ride ordinary people's outrage against the establishment into office, then hand the keys to the 1%. But don't take my word for it. Polyev has been consistently clear about his agenda since he was 16 years old. If you want to know where I'm coming from, you have to know where I come from. When most high schoolers were selling burgers, Polyev was selling memberships for Jason Kenney and the Reform Party. He attended the University of Calgary, where he fell under the spell of Austrian philosopher Friedrich Hayek. Hayek's theory that the welfare state leads to totalitarianism has functioned as a high-minded justification for decades of social cutbacks and privatization across the world. At 19, Polyev was a finalist in the As Prime Minister I Would essay contest. We asked young Canadians between the ages of 18 and 25 why they should be Prime Minister. Writing that he'd abolish a tax that primarily applies to the investments of the very rich. The abiding issue, of course, is always keep my taxes low, keep my taxes low, taxes low. In op-eds, he applauded Alberta Premier Ralph Klein and Treasurer Stockwell Day after they laid off thousands of teachers and nurses. Elected at 24 years old, he emerged within Stephen Harper's government as the leading enemy of workers' basic rights. He helped push legislation to make it more difficult for workers to unionize, to collectively negotiate, and to go on strike. The best tools they happen to have against elites and employers. Union bosses, union bosses, union bosses. When migrant workers brought in by the government to toil on Canada's farms and in seniors' homes faced deportation, Polyev's response displayed his special brand of empathy. That's why they're called temporary foreign workers. Polyev has such a distaste for Canada's universal social programs that he suggested adopting economist Milton Friedman's proposal to replace the entire welfare state with a tiny survival stipend for all low-income people. This would involve eliminating all other programs, including housing, drug plans, childcare, and the bureaucrats who administer it all. Massive tax cuts for the rich, suppressing workers' rights, and gutting social programs that ordinary Canadians depend on. It's not exactly the platform of a people's champion. Polyev is hardly the first Canadian politician to use this strategy. He's learned from former Conservative Premiers Ralph Klein and Mike Harris, and Reform Leader Preston Manning. All of them played outsiders preaching populism, then revealed themselves to be insiders delivering poverty. His reputation as a friend of the working man grew with each glass of beer that was drunk. Where's the money? Where's the money? Where's the money? He says, nothing will change now. Hello. <laughs> he is a shambling, ah oh, shucks, every man who was born to power on his ability to find the voters' buttons and push them. He is unprepossessing. Mike Harris is probably what he appears to be. Why are you going to make the rich richer? Yeah, why are you gonna... This is always how fake populism works. Use working people to get into power, then kick them to the curb. Fuck you guys. So forget the image of a down-home uprising storming parliament. If Pierre Polyev can con his way into the prime minister's office, the elite are going to have a field day.